Hi there mga kabaro, so ngayong araw ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano magplat ng true wind direction and true wind speed gamit ang triangle ruler, compass divider, pencil, DIY chart or maneuvering board, compass card and viewport scale table. So this is our given, we have own course 117 degrees, own speed 11.5 knots, then we have apparent wind direction 0 to 0 degrees starboard side and apparent wind speed is 22 knots so this is our given ang hahanapin natin ngayon is yung true wind direction and true wind speed let's start with plotting the on course and on speed that is E to R so on course and on speed so plot natin hanapin natin dito yung 117 117 so make sure na nasa center siya. 117. Then i-plot natin ngayon yung own speed which is 11.5 knots. So dito natin siya kukunin sa ating scale, uh, latitude scale which is 1 is to 1. La, uh, yung bawat gitling or bawat guhit that is 1 knot. So plot natin 11.5 that is 10. 11, then dun sa gitna is 11.5 then i-transfer natin siya sa mismong center then tuldok natin that is 11.5 so to make sure, double check natin 11.5 sa ating latitude scale transfer natin 11.5, that is uh, the plot of E to R so ito yung magiging E, R, yan yung ating own course and own speed. Then, next na ipaplat natin is our apparent wind direction and apparent wind speed. Since sinabi ko kanina na nasa starboard yung ating apparent wind direction, kapag nasa starboard ka, always ipaplas mo yon sa iyong own course. Pero kapag nasa port side, ipaplas, imaminus mo yon sa iyong own course. So, meron tayong 117 degrees plus 20. So, magiging 137 yung ating apparent wind direction. So, yun ang ipaplat natin dito. Hanapin natin yung 11, uh, 137. 137. Make sure all, again, na uh, kailangan nasa center siya. 113, uh, 137. Ayan, plat natin. Then, next step is kunin natin yung apparent wind speed na 22 knots sa ating latitude scale. So, 20, 21, 22. So, transfer natin ulit from the center to here is 22. Double check. 22. Yan. Yan yung ating apparent wind speed. So that is from E to M. So E to M, that is our apparent wind direction and apparent wind speed. So next step, ngayon, ipagko-connect natin yung R to M, so which is our uh, true wind direction and true wind speed. So, Connect natin, R to M. So, that is our R to M. Para makuha natin yung true wind speed, true wind speed, so, plot natin to. Yan. Then, ilagay natin siya dito sa mismong latitude scale. So we have 11.8 to, to double check Lagay natin ulit Ayan So nasa 11.8 siya So 11.8 Knots And sa pagkuha naman ng true wind direction Idadrag natin tong line na to Doon sa mismong center So drag natin yung ating line From R to M Ayan. 
So our true wind direction is true wind direction is 156 degrees. As you can see here, 155, 156, that is a 156 true wind direction. Doon sa ating mismong compass card, ang true, ang 156 ay malapit siya sa south-southeast. As you can see, ang 157.5 is south-southeast. So, dito siya mas malapit. So, ang true wind direction natin is south-southeast. Then, viewport scale, since ang true wind speed natin ay 11.8 knots, sa viewport scale, that is viewport number 4. Ayan o, nasa 11 to 16. So, moderate breeze yung ating uh, viewport number or viewport number 4. So, ito yung sample ng pagkuha ng true wind direction and true wind speed sa ating uh, maneuvering board or DIY chart. So, I hope na nakakuha kayo ng karagdagang idea sa pagkuha ng true wind direction and true wind speed. So, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. Thank you!